is going on all of you gaming legends out there? My name is Tyler Deathheim and this is a triple nuke on the map of Skid Row. Wait, what the fuck? What did I manage to accomplish this week? Well, let me tell you. I've dropped uh, four triple nukes on stream. Uh, my first four ever. Every single triple nuke I've ever accomplished has been this month uh, while streaming. So I've gotten four so far and I had two in two days uh, back to back I got a hundred plus triple on high rise and then I have the gameplay you are watching here uh, I'm running a hardline UMP with rockets and uh, we have them trapped at A which is my best recommendation unless you're going for those shotgun feeds which I'd love to get uh, by trapping them at C and having them push uh, B Hall and then you just bring out a spaz and go Sandy Ravage on those motherfuckers and uh, fuck the shit out of them so that's what I've got going on in this gameplay here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the hardline action. It seems to me whenever I pick up a gun while I have hardline, uh, it runs just as great as the UMP with hardline. You know, it's a, I mean the M4 takes like four to five bullets without with stopping power, and it seems to take about the same when you pick it up while you're using hardline, which is interesting. Um, because if you were to start with that gun with hardline, like when I pick up an ACR and I have hardline, the gun fucking rapes. But when I put on an ACR with hardline, the, I'd be better off throwing fucking marshmallows at the other team because it takes like 10 bullets to kill somebody. So I don't know if that's a glitch that's exploited in the game or uh, just something that uh, many, a lot of people haven't noticed. Look at these kids just camping harder in that building than Anne Frank and her family. Jesus Christ, you pussies. I already dropped the nuke. Get out of the building! So, um, that's nuke number one. I've reached a lot of decisions that I wanted to talk to you guys about because I've been constantly doing these videos uh, about um, where I want to take my channel, updates to everything, and looking for an immense amount of subscriber feedback. So, let me tell you what I've accomplished, what I've reached, and what I've decided. First of all, um, like I've originally intended, I was going for 500 nukes in one month uh, while on stream. And technically, I started a, like the last week of April uh, and went into May with like 50 to 100 nukes. And so I've been trying to drop at least 400 nukes in one month. The issue with that, um, I've become popular, apparently. Who knew uh, that my uni obsession over dropping nukes on Modern Warfare 2 would turn into me being uh, the one and only most popular streamer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 when of the three that stream it. Um, so, I think I've breathed some life back into this game, which is awesome, because I love seeing people playing it. Unfortunately, what that also means is every single time I turn on my Xbox to stream, uh, I'm getting messages uh, for people to play with me and you know 95% of those people are great I, I love the fact that I get to interact and play with you guys on a regular basis uh, I've limited my team to a solid group of about 20 guys that I rotate in and out that I've been playing with for weeks because uh, I'm trying to drop the 500 nukes but in my popularity I seem to have uh, found some people that love the session join oh boy uh, delays and the works and stuff like that don't really tend to work so uh, what I've decided is I'm just gonna have fun with streaming it's back to having fun with streaming uh, I'm not gonna hold myself to some ridiculous uh, standards of dropping 500 in uh, the next four days you know I need 106 nukes in four days uh, I could do it but it would take a, a nice solid lobby without some asshole session joiners uh, cause I got about I'd say 15 kids that are all trying to get into my sessions and when they do they invite their friends and it's just it just ruins the game for me and so uh, I'm just gonna go back to enjoying streaming what happens happens I'll be live every day until I hit 500 uh, so whether that happens this week or next remains to be decided but uh, we'll get there. I I'm not really in any sort of rush or uh, huge need to get there anytime soon. Uh, so that's what I've decided with the live streaming. Um, with the YouTube, got some good news for you motherfuckers. Uh, I'm going to be posting Modern Warfare 2 every single day until Call of Duty Ghost comes out. Woo! That is right, ladies and gentlemen, get jacked, get excited. I have 
got Modern Warfare 2 out the ass for you guys. Now, what remains to be seen is whether I will be uploading Black Ops 2 uh, along with that. Uh, I already decided on daily Modern Warfare 2. Now, I might do the occasional double upload with some Black Ops 2 S&D or uh, Modern Warfare 2 S&D or some sort of variety. There's a lot of variety I can introduce through Modern Warfare 2 alone, but I know a lot of you guys are here because of Black Ops S&D, and so I want to make sure I deliver that content to you guys and uh, do my best to keep all of you happy in that regard. So, uh, there will still be daily Modern Warfare 2, but there might be the occasional double upload with a different Call of Duty. And so that way everybody still gets their daily dose of Modern Warfare 2, but those of you that like a little bit of variety from me personally, even though YouTube's oversaturated with Black Ops 2 and, and want to watch my view and my perspective and my tactics on the game, uh, I will also be bringing that to you. So that's pretty much everything from me, you guys. Uh, I appreciate the tremendous amount of support. We've had 8,500 subscribers. 10K is a very real possibility uh, just around the corner. So with all that being said, uh, thank you, everybody, for everything. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day, you sexy, gorgeous motherfuckers. Peace.